Winning a championship in the UFC was a dream come true for this fighter. Defending it became an obsession. It was clear that we were witnessing something special in the octagon. But what is even more notable is that this champion has done the extraordinary. As he leaves the sport with a title belt still fastened securely around his waist and at the top of the game, undisputed forever. Andre Bishop and the Reem, Alistair Overeem. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards this cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of this cage tonight as the new champion. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Overeem is four years the elder. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a six inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Champion! 
Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the challenger. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 55 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Presenting the reigning, the pending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. There you go. First round, you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. All right, so here we go. Number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC heavyweight championship fight. And if past history is any indication, we may not see a round two. This heavyweight champion has successfully defended the title several times in the past, and he believes tonight it could be a quick night at the office. We shall find out in short order. A oh, hook to the head by Bishop. Joe, what are you looking for out of him here in the early going? Alistair Overeem, in my opinion, has the best knees in the entire heavyweight division. Absolutely devastating with that technique. It could play a big factor in this fight tonight. Oh, hard kick. Oh, nice punch there by Bishop. He's fainting with that punch, showing that punch. And that one certainly found the target. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Well, I know. Oh, this could be it right here. Oh, he's going for it. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh, it's a beautiful there. Powerful jab. Well, he wants... Oh! He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Body back for that. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Oh, and he goes on top of the kick. How about that chin? Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Oh! He's in big, big, big trouble. Oh. Ah, look at that deep tackle, man. Oh, he connects him with an elbow. Big body shot. Another elbow. He is landing some nasty elbows. Quick jab. That one hurt. Big Ooh, power in that a hook. Huge hook there, Joe. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Lands a powerful kick. Oh, and we got a fight on our hands. He hurt him with that hook. He's got his back to the cage. Oh, he's keeping big lead to the liver. He's stunned. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Lands a hard there. shot with the left. He is going after it here. Oh, and, now, and just like that, the fight is over. And it was a beautiful, accurate uppercut that got the job done. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Joe landed flush, and I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. 
Bam! And good night. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop this contest at three minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Championship of the world between Andre Bishop and Fabrizio Verdun. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He's in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight for Doom is eight years his senior. He weighed in at 231 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. 
And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 95 wins, 40 losses, and one draw. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Fabrizio. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 56 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go. Up for grabs tonight. The title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. All right, so here is the UFC champion trying to make good. Oh! Bishop's worked in that underhook once again. Double underhooks now, Joe. Back to over under. Now he's got the Moy Clock. Oh. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. strike lands there. Absolutely. Switching stances here. Good job of timing strikes here. Clean punch. How about that chin? Come out with a point to prove. 
improved tonight. Aggressive right out of the shoot and really has landed at a pretty high clip here in this first round. Technical, but also aggressive and accurate. A very good start for him here tonight. Oh, he has mastered the range here, timing his shots nicely. Pretty good jab there by Verdun. Looked oh. like it did start him a little bit. Oh, he hurt him. Bad. Bad. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, he caught an anaconda choke. Now he's pretty deep. Oh, that's nasty. Incredible! Just absolutely incredible! Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And we can see one more time this anaconda locked in perfectly for the victory. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion, and still a winner by submission tonight. division title. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion, whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion, 
there he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! If you just fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 12 losses. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, presenting the challenger, Merciless. And now he is the champion. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 57 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch gloves. They touch him up and we are underway. First one, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, go. here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest oh. man on the plane. He's all over now. And Ooh. that's going to do it. Oh! Oh, man! Beautiful strike here to end the fight early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Here we see it again. Oh, man. K.O. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is going to stop in this contest at 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.
up only this time. I need you to knock your opponent down. More strikes! That one! We got our rhythm, let's get that knockdown! fight between Andre Bishop and Stefan Struve. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So here he is making his way to the octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years. And he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in? as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! If you fighting out of the blue corners. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 80 wins, 54 losses, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, body out of beaver with the Netherlands, presenting the challenger, Stefan Skyscraper! And now, if you see the champion fighting at the red corner, this man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 58 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. 
fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus best oh. man on the plane. <laughs> the left hook hits home. He's oh. picking it up. The skyscraper trying to finish. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that leg glitch. Oh, he's hurt. The champion is in big trouble here. He is in oh. danger of losing his title. He tags him. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. And now he lands a combination. What a jab. Nice leg kick. How about that chin? No! Oh, he tagged him. He is clearly in big, big trouble. Oh, he might be out. Oh. He's stunned. He's in trouble. That's a big hook. Oh, he's going for it here. Nice jab. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body, and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. Struve's got double underhooks. Oh, shaking after that slam, Joe. Huge kick misses. Who gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Just over three minutes to go. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Hit him with the jab. And he's looking for that left. Bishop gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Struve's cut is bleeding profusely now. Oh! This could be it! now big kick to the liver he is hurt bad oh that's some wrestling right there he's posturing up here nice elbow to the body Oh, again. Just over two minutes, round one. And he gets reversed. Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. He's looking to take the back. Sweet reversal. A little bit uneventful. Oh, landed that inside leg kick. Already a welt on his opponent. There was a nice exchange. Oh, effective strike there by Struve. Bishop gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more. And now he's out. Feel good. But how good is that kick to the body? We can hear that from here. And I'm not sure how many more of those shots he can take, Joe. He's gonna have to figure out a way. Oh! He's hurt. Oh! oh, big left. Oh, very nice. 
double jab there by Bishop. Oh! This could be it right wow. here. He's trying to stay up. He is in big, big trouble. Oh! What a leg kick! Strews able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action from that round. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Gigantic right hand for the KO. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by Knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre. Well, he came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight. I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. The list of accolades is a long one for this mixed martial artist, a heavyweight and a heavyweight champion, whose record is unmatched in the history of the fight game. And while this legend is retiring from the sport today, his legacy as the greatest of all time will keep him in the hearts and minds of UFC fans forever. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.
Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between Andre Bishop and Mark Hunt. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Smirgliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on 59 wins, 42 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, presenting the challenger, Mark Super Samoa. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 59 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Okay, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. All right, so here he is, hoping to end his career as the greatest of all time. As round one gets underway, he is close to retirement. Perhaps tonight will be the final time we see him inside the octagon. It has been an illustrious career, several title defenses, several records at the gate, and on pay-per-view. Now tonight, the focus on going out with a win and working his way to the Hall of Fame as perhaps the greatest mixed martial arts athlete the UFC has ever seen. 
Bishop gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Nice punch. Huge kick misses. Lands a big right hand early. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. This could be it right here. Head snap back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not... Me to the liver. He's hurt bad. Whoa, head kick. You can tell that body shot hurt him bad. Oh, huge shot there. Big she body shot, shot body. Bishop's worked in that arm. Nice job. Oh, for that slam, Joe. Back up. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Nice. That oh. one appeared to stun him. He's got him hurt here. Oh, big left. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He che he's checking every single one of those. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, man. Bishop gets back up again. Just missed with the elbow there. That one hurt. Hunt's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh, a knee. Big knee. What a wild exchange. Kick to the face. Oh, head kick. How about that shin? <laughs> Hit him hard with that hook. Look, we'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, oh, big shot. This could be it. Oh, very nice. Big shot. Looks like it did oh. stun him a little bit. Oh, he's going for it here. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Now looks like a recovery mechanism here, Joe. Big knee to the body. Tying him up here in the clinch. And he goes to the knee to the body. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And there comes the separation now. Trying to spin to the back. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. These are some devastating elbows. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nasty Hunt. ground and pound elbows here. Oh, again with the elbows by Bishop. Beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent posture. Second round, straight ahead. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. 
And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Second round underway. That last round. Cut that got him the win. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop for this contest at five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. The celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight. Winning a championship in the UFC was a dream come true for this fighter. Defending it became an obsession. It was clear that we were witnessing something special in the octagon. But what is even more notable is that this champion has done the extraordinary. As he leaves the sport with a title belt still fastened securely around his waist, and at the top of the game, undisputed forever.